Sweet Baby Inc. and similar narrative consultation companies are the very reason why we are in the middle of Gamergate 2 because they constantly spewed their hatred and pushed their narratives into products. And now, of course, gamers are not buying their BS, but we are hearing a rumor circulating that Sweet Baby Inc. has fired Chris Kindred, and I can't say I'm very sad about it. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description. Join the community in my live streams and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, this is an individual I can't particularly say that I like because I really do not think that there is a worse person at Sweet Baby Inc. Besides, of course, Kim Belair. These are two individuals who constantly spew hatred for gamers and constantly defend the awful state that the industry is in. And Chris Kindred specifically has caused basically the firestorm that Sweet Baby finds themselves in the middle of because, yeah, when God of War Ragnarok released, people talked about Sweet Baby a little bit. When Alan Wake 2 released, people talked about Sweet Baby a little bit. And we're starting to really pay attention to narrative consultation companies. But it all came to a head when Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League released and Cabrutus simply made the DEI slash Sweet Baby Inc. detected list. And Chris Kindred is the individual who single-handedly started Gamergate 2, the person who decided to go on this harassment campaign against Cabrutus, trying to get his list banned from Steam, trying to get him banned from social media. And Chris is the very reason why Sweet Baby Inc. got so much negative attention. And I was surprised that they hadn't let him go sooner, but now apparently they have. So it says, according to ex-user Master of the TDS, the host of Gothic Therapy, an inside source informed him that Chris Kindred was actually fired by Sweet Baby Inc. Now, they declared in a video, we have an insider from Sweet Baby Inc. that Chris Kindred has been fired. Chris Kindred, the person who started the campaign against Cabrutus Rambo to get his accounts removed and to get the Sweet Baby Inc. detected group removed, has been quietly pushed out of Sweet Baby Inc. So, of course, this is a rumor, right? Take it with a grain of salt. You never fully know unless somebody announces it, unless, you know, Sweet Baby says something or Chris says something. At this point in time, they have not made anything publicly available, but it would not surprise me. Chris is a big reason why Sweet Baby has received so much heat over the past, you know, nine months. And it just doesn't look like this person is particularly active anymore on socials. He added, from what I do know, apparently a lot of people involved with SBI were very angry at what Chris had did. So there had been many calls to Kim Belair and other people in charge to get him removed and they were successful. Actually, funny enough, just a few days ago, Kim Belair was at the XOXO Festival and she basically said that she was upset that so many people were talking about them because they could no longer fly under the radar. And that is what this, to me, sounds like that there were people at SBI who were mad specifically at Chris, not because of the work that they did, but because he brought so much negative attention to them. And now Sweet Baby Inc., whether it's the company or even employees, they cannot make a single move on social media without people instantly seeing it and instantly calling them out. Now, of course, there is no public information to back this claim up. The only thing is that Chris Kindred's Instagram account used to state Sweet Baby Inc., but now it just states illustrator, writer, and narrative designer. And on the flip side, Kindred's LinkedIn account also states he still is currently working at Sweet Baby Inc. So there could be definitely a situation where Chris just has not updated his LinkedIn account because it's like a brand new situation. But we are not going to know until, of course, they come out and confirm it. Now, of course, I will not shed a single tear for this person because they are the per the individual who started the uh, cancel campaign against Cabrutus at the end of February simply for making a list. And I have to point this out all the time with the SBI detected list. If you are somebody who likes Sweet Baby and supports the narratives that they're shoving into products, you could go and 
down that list and monetarily support this team. You could buy every single title off the list. Cabrutus is not necessarily saying that you should boycott all the games on the list. He's just trying to give you as much information as possible, which is like why I make these videos, why so many content creators online are talking about the culture war and the state of the video game industry and how it's in shambles. But, you know, someone like Chris just doesn't understand that. Now, Kindred has most certainly been in protected mode on and off for months now. Sometimes they'll have it on, sometimes they'll remove it, but the majority of the time they are trying to hide and right now their account is in fact locked. Now, of course, even going beyond just Cabrutus, we have Chris Kindred had doubled down to call uh, you know, on the cancel campaign of the list and also labeled any members as Nazis. And now there's, you know, hundreds of thousands of people who follow that list and are in a, com in, in a community and, you know, support each other. So apparently Chris Kindred doesn't really care about trying to say, hey, people are allowed to join this community and have their own opinion, even if I dislike it. No, no, no. It's always an istophobe, a Nazi, some sort of disgusting term to try to levy at the very people that they hate. And we also know that Chris had allegedly contacted Smash JT's former employer to get him fired. So we also have Sweet Baby Inc.'s employee, Chris Kendra, dumping on the Dragon Ball creator, Akira Toriyama, immediately after the announcement of his death. He just simply cares that he is getting his way, and right now it doesn't really seem like that is the case. So, of course, I will be keeping my eye on this, but it would not shock me that people at Sweet Baby Inc. were extremely frustrated with Chris simply because of the cancel campaign he went on and ultimately all of the backlash Sweet Baby Inc. has received since then. These are a group of people who want to hide in the shadows, who want to, you know, lurk in the darkness and not have a lot of people paying attention to them. They want to be able to work with companies and ultimately not have to explain themselves and not receive backlash for it, which is why recently they actually had updated their website and they removed their client lists and their current game list because they are trying to hide. So I will be keeping my eye on social media to see if Chris or Sweet Baby comes out and makes a statement. It really wouldn't shock me though if Chris Kindred takes to their socials and has a complete and utter meltdown blaming Sweet Baby for not protecting their employees while also attacking gamers. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support. I either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.